from as far back as I can remember, my grandfather uh, brought us clothes from Italy wrapped in around cheese. And that was uh, something that uh, lived with me for a long time. Because when I went to school with those clothes, people made fun of me that I smelled of cheese and that didn't bother me. It was as if I was walking around with my, fa my grandfather next to me. The interesting thing was that uh, also my grandfather who produced food, you know, and we could see how from this milk comes this cheese. And we loved that whole process to watch how my grandfather could do that. And my grandfather on my father's side was a builder, a stonemason. So these two people are very important in my life. Every time I use my hands, I see my grandparents. I see the builder and I see the cook. And I'm using these hands to make art. They also were making art. It was just a functional art in that it was a useful art to the people. So to, one was making food to consume, the other one was making things to last so you can cross over a, a river, a bridge, a wall, a retaining wall for a mountain. And I'm doing it differently in the way I know how to live in my life. The way it makes sense to me is that um, I express my voice in that way. Um, I don't know any other way that makes me feel comfortable. It's the way I understand living. I can't understand living any other way but, but producing art. But these are the building blocks to me who will make me uh, as an artist. I love to fabricate. Uh, I love when something's well fabricated and I also love the smell of the food. And I think that's an important essence of experience that is left out in a lot of the art that I experienced as a kid and as an adult.